Welcome back! My name is Vitor, this is my humanoid robot. And today we are solving a very important problem here. As you have seen in the previous videos, the robot currently relies on a 12 volt charger. And the problem is, it only gives us 1.5 amps, and that's just not enough. Sometimes the robot just shuts down. We need more current. And another problem is that it relies on a power outlet. And tell me one cool robot you have seen that relies on a power outlet. So the idea is to build a portable power supply and tell me a better design than the good and old arc reactor. And I've already built a few of these over the years, each one with a different purpose. One was a voltage amplifier, another was a hydrogen generator, but this time I want this to be a real power supply. You've probably seen the Hacksmith build a plasma generator or Alex Labs hydrogen reactor and honestly, both projects are awesome. I'm a big fan myself. But that's one thing that always disappoints me on most of the reactor arc videos you can find on YouTube. They miss the point. The arc reactor isn't supposed to consume electricity, it's supposed to generate it. What could it generate? If my math is right, I don't know as it is. 3 gigajoules per second. Oh my God. It is the power supply. It shouldn't need a battery to make plasma or to produce hydrogen. It should be the battery. So that's what we're going to do in the most efficient and inexpensive way possible, as always. And for that, we are going to use lithium batteries. They are cheap, they work, and I can find anywhere. And I already know what people in the comments are going to say. Oh, but you're just building a custom power bank. I choose the Mark II design, the one Tony Stark builds right after escaping the cave. Yeah, the same one Obadiah Stane later steals to power his evil suit. I 3D printed the most iconic parts, sanded them and gave them a proper paint job. The real challenge here is to take these very dangerous lithium cells and make a battery pack with the size of a fat little hamster. It gotta be capable of powering all the 12 motors, all the LEDs, the Arduino board, and all the other boards within the robot. So let's start by making a plan. We don't need a plan. Raw action solves everything. <laughs> In my hunt for power, I found some old computer batteries. And hopefully I can salvage at least six good lithium cells from them. And please, don't do this at home, okay? Just, just don't do it. Totally safe connection, totally safe. I also built a simple transistor-based circuit, so the brightness of the arc reactor's LEDs can reflect the battery level just like a real power core. Now for the reactor's body, I'm using this threaded cylinder. We'll make it much easier to secure onto the robot's chest later on. Now I know these lithium cells usually need a special kind of soldering, but I don't have it and I don't care. It's the robot's chest, okay? Not mine. No. I even 3D printed the bottom part of the reactor, tried engraving some informations down there, and... What, what language is this? Didn't go exactly as planned, of course.
Okay, the reactor is ready. Now I just need to modify the robot's chest socket to receive its new power supply. That could run your heart for 50 lifetimes. Yeah. Or something big for 15 minutes. I'm feeling like Obadiah is tame. Except I didn't stole it from anyone. One last golden egg to give. And I'm not bald. This was a very interesting project. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. At the end, the cost of building this arc reactor was almost zero. All the parts that I used were found in my shop. I already had them and I didn't have to buy, well, almost anything. All the projects that I make, I always try to make it with the lowest budget possible. And most of these parts were all recycled. Even the six lithium cells that we used were salvaged from an old computer battery. Now we got an 11.1 volts battery pack with the capacity of four amps that is more than enough to power our humanoid robot. Now I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel so you can watch all the other builds that are coming up. I'll see you in the comments or on the videos. Thank you very much for your time and well if you like this video leave the thumbs up.